people Pakistan. seem to be confident about that, but actually separatist and militant leaders in Pakistan themselves are not. For instance, the Al-Badr chief Zameen Khan has sharply criticized Asif Zardari for meeting Mehbooba Mufti. And more importantly, Syed Salahuddin, the head of the Hizbul Mujahideen, has said publicly that he will wage war on Islamabad and Lahore if any change in Pakistan's policies means Kashmir suffers. So these people are very scared. They take Asif Zardari's change or Gilani's change very seriously. They don't see any hope in Kayani. I think that, you know, uh, let's move beyond statements. You know, in reality, if we have to move forward, we have to understand the fact that Kashmir is a very vibrant issue in Pakistan. With all the internal problems and political issues they have, Kashmir remains the key as far as Pakistani public opinion is concerned. I mean, they can't afford to ignore it. They can't afford. Except the question is, Will they seek you as the interlocutor or might they instead start seeking Mehbooba Mufti and Omar Abdullah? I don't think the Huriyat Conference or any Kashmir leader you know, wants to be an interlocutor. We are a party to the conflict. We are a party to the dispute. But if they it's very important for Pakistan if they have to move forward, they have to take into account the leadership in Kashmir. But suddenly Asir Zazari is holding press conferences with Mehbooba Mufti. That's fine. No, we we are not averse to that. You know, if Mehbooba Mufti is saying something which... Uh, she didn't used to say two, three years back, if Farooq Abdullah is saying something today, same as the Farooq Abdullah used to say, that let's go and bomb Azad Kashmir. You really mean it? Camps. You're not averse to that? No. If, 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 if these parties are serious and sincere in terms of addressing the Kashmir issue, Korea's conference welcomes that Except change. for the fact that Naeem Ahmed Khan, president of the JK National Front, one of your colleagues on the Huriyat conference, said this to the Indian Express on the 31st of March. I would say... Mehbooba meeting Asif Zadari is not a good signal from Pakistan. And then he added, it I, is really alarming. I don't think so. It's alarming at all. You know, we have been going to India. We have been meeting the Indian leadership, um, Indian prime minister, other political parties. Uh, they have been going to Pakistan, whether uh, through Pagwash or through their uh, other, uh, you know, um, Delegation. So this is not a worrying development. I don't see it as a worrying delegation at all. I think that it's it's good. It's so good that these no, it's, you had to these people go to Pakistan, talk in Pakistan, and come back. They need the certificate of Pakistan in Kashmir to propagate their ideas. So I think that it's it's a moral victory. Mehbooba, for the Uriyat, you're, you're saying Mehbooba needs Zardari's certificate. I think she needs Pakistan certificate. That's what she has said. You know, because if you look at the events, she's come from Pakistan. Okay. She's going to every election rally. And saying that, you know, I have went to Pakistan and I spoke this and I got this. So it, it says that even for the, even for the you know, mainstream politics, the Ashirwad or the support of Pakistan is very important. In which case, let me end this part by putting bluntly to you the following question. You will go to Pakistan in June. You will be welcomed warmly. The rhetoric will be effusive. But are you confident that behind it, Zardari and Galani haven't changed course in such a way that the importance of Huryat is diminished? And Kashmir itself is moved from center stage to a side subject. Are you sure that? I'm, I'm absolutely confident that no government in Pakistan can sideline the Kashmir issue. As long as the Kashmir issue is alive in the hearts and minds of Kashmiris, as well as in the hearts and minds of people in Pakistan, no government can afford it. In that case, let's take a break there, Mirai Farooq. I want to come back in part two and talk about you and your leadership. That's in a moment. See you after the break.